Hello there, Taurus. It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm sorry I've been gone for about two weeks. Um, my daughter had a baby, and so um, I have just been loving on my new granddaughter <laughs> for so for the last couple of weeks, helping to take care of her. Mom and Bob, baby are doing so wonderful, and so is my son-in-law. So um, all is good in my world, and I hope it is good for you too. So we are going to be taking a look at your mid-June general tarot reading um, today. This is good for the next four to five weeks. We'll take a look at the overall energy with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. All right, let's see what we have on the horizon. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Hmm, interesting, narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Okay, I feel like you're on a detour <laughs> and you're you're kind of wondering why. Where is this leading? You know, the tread thoughtfully is very much about feeling like there's not any options available to you, that the land is kind of barren. But it's also this adventure, okay? Detours are always important because detours give us the ability to learn something that will help us when we get back onto our original path, right? Our original destination. I always say it's kind of like being, you know, on a highway and there's a big accident or road construction and the highway is stopped, right? And you get off on an exit and go the back roads to get past, you know, the, the, the stopped traffic. Um, that's a detour. You're taking a detour. And on that detour, you might meet some new people or get to um, enjoy lunch in a mom and pop <laughs> restaurant with the locals, right? There is this, um, there is uh, some extra wisdom, skill, talent, resource that you gain on the divine detour. So it's about embracing that and saying to yourself, okay, it's okay, I'm on a detour. I don't understand it at this time, but kind of like staying open-minded about it, understanding that it's just for a little bit, yeah. You have emotions are running high and the kindred partnership. So you could have a, an emotional situation occurring, perhaps conflict in a relationship at this time. Um, and it's kind of like this energy of, it's distracting you from what it is that you really and truly want to be doing. So it would be like if you had somebody in your family that was ill at this time, right? And, you know, there's kind of emotions about, you know, somebody being ill or, you know, having a health scare at this time or finances, you know. Um, or you could just be having a, a difficult time in a relationship, whether it's romantic family or friend, right? It could be even a coworker. And it's taking you away from what it is that you are wanting to really and truly create. Um, stepping into the energy of knowing that it's okay. You, you're doing what, you're dealing with something right now that needs to be dealt with, right? And you will be back you know, creating again, building again, doing what it is that you really are wanting to do in a very short time. Interesting, because I feel like for some of you, you're kind of confused. We have the seven of cups. There, there could be somebody in your family that is having difficulty with either like, you know, like having a confused mind or mental illness, uh, perhaps even an addiction, something like that. And you're, you're having to deal with some situation that is bringing you, like I feel like you're, help, you're trying to help with this situation and at the same time, you're having a hard time understanding the situation, right? That's why you're kind of like feeling like kind of lost almost in this. Like you're trying to help, but you don't really know how to help. Yeah, that, that's kind of um, difficult. I remember when my dad was, he, he had an illness at one time and he needed my help to take care of him. But I felt like I, I was trying to help and trying to talk to the doctors and all of that. But I also recognized that he really wanted to make some medical decisions on his own. 
right? <laughs> and it was really difficult. I remember just kind of feeling like, oh, this is so difficult because, you know, the roles of, you know, daughter and dad, right, were a little bit reversed and it was, it was just a trying time. And I kind of have that energy here. If you're resonating, it might not resonate with everybody, but just kind of feeling like you're, you're trying to meander through a situation and you may not have any experience in this or feel like you don't have all of the facts, okay? The person that you're dealing with may not be telling you all of the facts. You may be having to use your intuition to kind of guide you through this. Yes. Okay, so let's go find some advice for you. Yeah, you have prosperity lies ahead, taking steps, and then you have the five of wands. I feel like this situation is pulling you away. You're feeling like there's something that you want to do. And this situation, okay, this detour, okay, whatever it is, is pulling you away. It's competing for your attention, you know. And once again, I feel like it's like coming to somebody else's aid, helping somebody else through a difficult time. This is a detour that isn't going to... You at this time do not see how this detour is going to help you to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. You're going off your path in order to help somebody else, right? But also recognizing that when you do that, okay, when you are helping somebody else and it's truly you're giving time, energy, resources to somebody else for a short period of time because they are needing your help at this time, what there's also a benefit in it for you that you don't understand at this time it's going to come back maybe in the form of good karma right <laughs> it's going to come back in some form for you yes yeah this is beautiful about understanding taking a loving approach i think it's difficult for you to take this truly loving approach in this you know Six of Pentacles, understanding that you're bringing balance into this situation and the temperance, you know, just having to have patience. I feel like you're having to have patience with someone. Yeah, it's, I, I can kind of um, resonate with the energy of feeling like you don't have control and yet the person you maybe are dealing with doesn't have contr complete control either. So it's very frustrating. I think you're kind of frustrated. It's about having the courage to persevere here, seeing it for it is, yeah, staying committed to this, knowing that it is emotional. King of Cups, once again, it could, you know, it could be somebody that is extremely emotional at this time because of something that they're going through, dealing with perhaps mental illness at this time or an addiction of some sort. But knowing, okay, look at this. We have the Empress and the Lovers. You know, choosing to be nurturing in this situation, even though I feel there's part of you that just wants to get this over with. Okay, let's get this over with. I got work I got to get back to, right? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so let's see where this is leading because your obstacle is, yeah. A new start is coming, a consciousness of lack, right? It's kind of like, okay, how long is this going to last? Two of pentacles, you know? It's, uh, it's kind of like, this is draining me of my time, my energy, my resources. When is this going to be over? When do I get to go back to what it is that I wanted to do? You could be dealing with a health issue, right, at this time, you know? You may have had to take, you know, a sabbatical from work or something like that. You know, uh, pulling back your energy to take care of something in your own vicinity, maybe having to rely on a friend or or loved ones to help you. And you're kind of like, you could even, you know, it, it could be somebody that you're dealing with or it could be you that you're just kind of like, okay, when is, it, when is this going to be over? Yeah. You're going to be victorious. Look at the ten of, uh, ten of Pentacles coming up again. 
I feel there's a lot of strain, I think, in this relationship because of this situation, right? It's about uh, staying focused on what is important in the long run, right? What is important to you? You know, this is temporary. Whatever is going on is just temporary. Understanding, okay, we're going to get through this and then, right, we'll get back on track. We have to just deal with the situation at this time. Okay, so let's take a look at your advice. Yes, you have a loving woman. This is the Empress energy again coming out. I feel as if there's this energy of being your most loving self to yourself and also to the situation for this time being, right? It's kind of understanding that you're you're kind of feeling like there's nothing that's going to come out of the situation, so why am I putting time and energy into it? But what you're being asked to do is to see that this is just a divine detour. There's something here that in the moments when you can be very um, loving, okay, to the situation, to the person that's involved, or to yourself, right? Um, that there's something in those moments <laughs> that are truly special. When my dad was ill, you know, it, well, it did give me this wonderful time. I mean, it was just he and I, right? Um, my children were at home <laughs> with their dad and in school, right? And I traveled to be with my dad. And, you know, he, he actually wrote a novel and I was helping him with the editing and stuff like that. Like those moments were so precious. And yet at the same time, you know, there was the turmoil inside of, I have to get home to the kids and <laughs> you know get back to my, my life, right? But it is about truly embracing this special moment. Out of this will come some special memory or some special gift, you know, tangible or intangible. A special blessing is going to come out of this situation for you because you're showing up as the empress. You're showing up as someone that is very nurturing, very giving at this time to someone that really and truly, I feel like needs you, needs you, needs you, you know, it in a way of, you know, just your support, your loving support in whatever is going through. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. You, you're just really concerned about this situation, not, not, I think what you're concerned about is that this situation is not going to end the way that you want it to end, right? But it's understanding. I think it's transforming something either in you or something in the other person. There is going to be an ending to one way of life here okay as far as kind of like you know whatever is being dealt with is going to finally transform is finally going to end and a new beginning is going to start understanding that this is just a detour this isn't status quo because you have the status quo i feel like you think this is status quo this is just a detour yeah this is a detour because the, look you have the ten of cups the happiness will return it's just a tough cycle. Wow, I'm sending you lots of love and hugs because I feel like that is what some of you are worried about is that, you know, this, this is life. This is not ever going to transform. And yet at the same time, when you, when you can come in with your Empress energy, when you can come in with your loving self, your love itself will help transform this situation. Wow, really beautiful. So let's pull a soul truth card for you. And Taurus, I do do personal reading. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. And I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. From whom can I release my judgment right now? Really interesting because Capricorn had the same, very same exact one. Judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life or is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations and be grateful for what is. Yeah, I feel like there is this energy where, you know, this person that you maybe are dealing with, 
you know, you, you feel like maybe part of it is that they've brought this on themselves or something, you know, a sense of judging how they're handling the situation or, or how they got into the situation. Or you, if you're the one in a difficult situation, you know, and you may be judging, you know, like who's helping you, who's not helping you. It's, it's this energy of just bring love to the situation. Just get back into your loving self. Get back into your heart space. And that is the best antidote to whatever is going on here, right? It's about stepping back into the love. And not being fearful that things won't work out the way that you want them to work out. Just enjoy the present moment. <laughs> enjoy the love as much as you possibly can in this situation. Just like when I was <laughs> helping my dad, right? And when we would sit down and, and work on his book and have those conversations and everything, I just tried to be as loving and as present as I possibly can at that moment, even though there were there was all this stuff going on in the back of my head, I was worried about him. I was worried about my family. Right? There's all of these things that are playing out in the back of our mind. Just try to come back to your present energy. Just enjoy what's in front of you at the very moment, right? And just keep that feeling as long as you possibly can, and return to it as often as you possibly can because this is just a detour. You will get back <laughs> to your path here in a very short time. Just understand that this is just kind of like, it's just a narrow pathway. It's just a pathway, it's just a detour. The sun will shine again. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and hugs, Taurus. Um, and I wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.